YouTube! Welcome to my channel. This is Mochi. He wanted to join me today. Say hi, buddy. No? Not saying hi? Okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. Anyway, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I wanted to do a review for you on my experience getting a Chanel wallet on a chain or a Chanel walk repaired by leather surgeons. So, I've had this Chanel wallet on a chain for about five years now and I had bought it pre-loved. I bought it off of eBay and at the time I had really really wanted a Chanel wallet on a chain but I really really couldn't justify the price of buying it new. I was incredibly new to luxury at the time. I still feel like I'm new but at the time I really just couldn't fathom paying what it costs new. So I found one off of eBay and it was a steal. It was I got it for over half off but part of the reason it was a steal is because it was damaged. So with the Chanel wallet on a chain, you can, uh, you know, take the chain out of the bag and you can wear it as a crossbody or you can double it over as a shoulder bag. And I loved that feature. I think the person before me probably also loved that feature because what happened is when I received it, and I knew this before I bought it, but when I received it, the sides where the chain meets the flap when you wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag, the sides had really been rubbed raw, so it was like ripped and splitting and the piping was exposed. So I knew that it was like that when I bought it. The pictures were very clear, but I was okay with it because I didn't I didn't think it was actually going to be something that was that hard to fix, and it didn't for me limit its functionality. So for me, I use the Chanel wallet on a chain as my regular full-size wallet. And I like doing that because I have it with me at all times. So it functions as my regular wallet, but then if I'm out and about and I don't want to take my big bag or if I need a clutch and I didn't bring one or I just want to bring a few things to run in somewhere, I have it with me to use as a clutch or a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So I have done that for the entire time I've had it for years, and it's been really great for me that way. I love using it that way. That being said, using it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody uh, when it was already damaged from being used that way probably wasn't the best. I'm not completely sure. I'm sure I damaged it more because it was already damaged. It was nothing that it's... I couldn't say that I noticed any more damage in the past five years, but I'm sure I did. Anyway, so this year I decided, okay, this is the year I'm finally going to get it fixed. I will stick pictures of the damage so you can see kind of the starting point where, where I'm starting with. So you can see it's, you know, the sides are ripped, you can see the piping, and I mean overall it kind of looks just like dingy and used, but the, the damage is what I was most concerned about. So I decided this year I'm definitely going to get it fixed, and I reached out to four different places. I reached out to Leather Pros, Rago Brothers, Purse Rehab, and Leather Surgeons. I had done preliminary research in all of them. I had looked at Yelp reviews, looked at their websites, Facebook, Instagram. I also posted on Purse Forum and various Facebook groups to kind of get a sense of other people's experience. I think they all are amazing companies. They all have really amazing before and afters on their websites, on their Instagrams, whatever it may be. And they all have really good reviews. People have had really great experiences with all of them. So I reached out Leather Pros. I have some notes here. Leather Pros quoted me $175 to $200 plus $25 to ship the bag. They said that the fix would be noticeable because it's caviar leather. My bag is a caviar leather black walk. Um, so they said it would be noticeable, but that they would do their best to improve it and get it functional. And then the dye job that they would do would improve the overall look of the bag. They responded to me within 24 hours of me reaching out to them. One thing to note, and I this is not a comment on the company or their craftsmanship or their work, I did note that there were some punctuation capitalization errors in their email back. So it wasn't necessarily the most professional email. I don't think, again, that that is a comment on the quality of the work that they do, but I know that for some people, the level of professionalism in an email is something that they care about. So I did want to note that. I also am not sure if, you know, if there's an English as a second language issue or not, or you know, maybe they were on their phone. There's so many different things that can contribute to that sort of thing. So again, it's not, 
I'm not trying to like bash them or diss them. It's just an observation I noticed. Moving on. So Raggle Brothers quoted me $200 or around $200. Sorry. They did not say whether that $200 included shipping or not. So I'm not sure. They said that the fix, they could fix it to be in good condition, but not perfect. They also responded to me within 24 hours. Raggle Brothers is the one I will probably note was the I guess least professional email and again not a comment on their quality of work or anything like that but they didn't have like a, a greeting in their email and it was really just a one-liner it was I mean the information I gave was literally the information in the email can fix to good condition not perfect approximately two hundred dollars so that was Rago Brothers Purse Rehab quoted me three hundred thirty dollars plus shipping to repair the side to clean, recolor, and condition the bag. They also responded to me within 24 hours and their email was very professional. Greeting, grammar was good, capitalization, punctuation, everything was spot on. And then Leather Surgeons quoted me $265 that included shipping. They also responded to me within 24 hours and their email was probably the most professional and most detailed response. So they told me that there was no perfect fix because the sides were so damaged, but that they would definitely be able to improve it and make it functional. They are the only ones who specifically told me what they would be doing. So they said that they would be grafting new leather and then they would give the bag a spa service. And then they went into a very detailed explanation of what the spa service is. So the spa service is cleaning the interior and exterior of the bag. They take the leather out of the chain, they polish the chain and the hardware, and they condition the bag, and then they restore color where applicable. They were also very upfront and honest about what you could and could not expect with the spa service. So they said, you know, every scratch can't is not going to be removed. They can't restore puffiness to quilts. Scratches on hardware, you know, can't necessarily always be removed because the polish they use needs to be gentle enough not to remove the finish of the hardware. They also said that sometimes with the recoloring, if it's an area that needs to be heavily recolored, it can affect the texture of the bag. They also, you know, obviously they said they tried to strike a balance between aesthetics and texture and, you know, not trying to impact that too much, but they did, they were specific about mentioning that that may be a side effect. So they really gave all the details, all the pros and cons, and a really, I think, realistic view of what they could and could not do. I decided to move forward with leather surgeons. So that process was I just kind of responded and said I'd like to move forward. They said the next step is that they would be ship sending me a link to a shipping label. The link would be available for 48 hours, but it expires after 48 hours. And they were specific about mentioning that because they said if for whatever reason you can't ship it out now or you don't want to ship it out now, wait and contact us when you're ready to ship it. So I was ready right away, so that wasn't an issue, but I appreciated that they let me know that. So the link expires in 48 hours. After you print it out, you have five days to ship it in. Once they receive it, they email you a confirmation. So they emailed me on February 7th that they had received it. And then they do the repair. Once it is repaired, they send you an invoice. You pay the invoice, they ship it back to you. I was expecting about two to three weeks. That seems to be other people's experience, and that seems reasonable to me. Obviously, my bag is not the only one they're repairing. They have other jobs. So I was really, really surprised when I got an invoice on February 11th. So that's four days after they had received it. That's amazing to me. So I was thrilled. I was so happy that I'd be having my bag much sooner than expected. I did pay my invoice right away uh, later that night when I got home on February 11th. I checked the tracking on the 12th and it said something along the lines of like label has been created, package is still with the sender. So fine, I mean sometimes they don't update right away, whatever. I checked it the next day, so this was the 13th and it still said the same thing. And then I checked it the following day on the 14th and it still said the same thing. So at that point I was actually concerned because I thought did they forget to ship it out? Was it shipped out and UPS isn't scanning it? I'm not sure. So I had emailed them to see what was going on and they responded right away. They apologized. They said that there had been a bit of a delay in shipping things out, that they had been backed up. Also, there had been a snowstorm. So they did say that they had shipped it out that day. So they had been shipped out on the 14th, that the tracking should update. And it did. It updated later that day. And I actually received the back the next day on the 15th. So 
you know, there was maybe about a three, two to three day delay from the time I received the invoice to the time that they shipped it out. So, you know, that's not that bad, honestly. I just wanted to mention that though, in case, you know, anyone cares. I had kind of been under the impression that they ship it out basically the same day or the very next day after that you pay the invoice. And I think they usually do. I think this was probably an anomaly, but I did want to mention that. Doesn't affect my overall experience or impression of the company. I think they're great. I had a wonderful experience with them from start to finish. They were super responsive. They were very detailed, very honest and realistic about what they could do and what could I could expect. Very upfront. And I really appreciated it. I think their customer service is top notch and I had a really great experience. I also thought their pricing was very fair. I mean, I guess technically it was the second highest quote I received, but honestly, it was pretty much on par with Raggle Brothers and Leather Pros. You know, Raggle Brothers and Leather Pros were more at the 200 range rather than 265, but with Leather Pros, I would have to have paid for shipping, so that ups it, and Raggle Brothers, they had said about 200, so that could also be up to 250 or who knows. So I think their pricing was pretty on par. I thought it was very fair, and the service, again, I thought was excellent. So now the part I'm sure you actually care about is what does the bag look like? So I received the bag. I had already unboxed it. It's been a few weeks since I received it. It was very well packaged and in the box came this folder. And in this folder is this here. And what this is, is a certificate of authenticity. And it says that my Chanel wallet on a chain black caviar with silver hardware is deemed authentic. So this is really nice. I had read, I think, in the purse forum that other people had received this with their bags. So I think it might be something that they do with all their bags or maybe all their Chanel bags that they repair. So I thought that was great. I didn't have concerns about its authenticity, but I think it's really nice that they included this and should I ever want to sell the walk, it's nice that I have this on hand because it provides another level of security for a potential buyer that the bag is actually authentic. The bag itself came in this leather surgeon's dust bag. This is a fairly thick, nice canvas dust bag, so it's not a super cheap one. And here is the bag. And so if you remember those pictures before, the sides were very noticeably damaged. And this is what it looks like now. Try to get it closer here. And so if you open it up. I think that looks amazing. I don't know about you, but I am super pleased with this. I know that they had said that they could not get it perfect, but I think it looks pretty close to perfect. You know, before you would open it and it just, you could see basically inside the bag. You can't now. You can see that there's a seam. You can see that there's a one side and another side and that they've come together, but you can't see piping and it, you know, I can, I'm not going to do this too much because I don't want to ruin it, but like it's not coming apart. So I think that looks really great. This is the other side. Go. And then, you know, you open it here. And again, same thing. You can see, you can see that there's a top and a bottom side and the seams are together, but again, it's not opening up. You can't see the piping. It just, I think it looks seamless. I think it looks amazing. You can, I can feel like this part does feel thicker. It feels reinforced, but you can't see anything. That reinforced texture does not bother me at all. I think I, I prefer it. It makes me feel like it's really sturdy and it's really gonna stay the fixes, you know, quality. I suppose, and I have to be honest, I don't even know if this is from the fix or not, or if this looked like this before. There is a little bit, you can kind of see, I guess here, like almost like an indentation 
maybe that's where the leather was grafted. And on this side too, you can kind of see that. But honestly, it's not really noticeable. I only just noticed it actually. It doesn't bother me. It's not anything that that sticks out to me and I think it looks really good. I was, I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried when they said that they couldn't make it look perfect, not because I was expecting perfection considering how damaged it was, but I was worried that that meant that someone would be able to look at the bag and notice that it had been repaired, that it would be a noticeable repair. And I don't feel like it is at all. So I'm super pleased. In terms of the spa service and the overall look of the bag, you know, it's it's worn. It's a worn bag and it still looks worn, I think. But I also do think it really has gotten some new life. And with tissue paper. The chain here is... There we go. I mean, it's super shiny. The interior wasn't all that dirty before, but the interior looks really good. I don't know how well you can see any of that, but I think I think the spa service is great. It doesn't. I don't think it necessarily makes it look like a new bag. I think it's it's an old it's an old bag. It's a worn bag. It was pre-owned. Someone used it before me, and I've already used it for five years. But I think it looks good. I think it looks like it has new life, and I think it it looks like. It looks like something I'd be very happy to use for another five or ten years. I had kind of been thinking, you know, maybe I maybe I suck it up, maybe I bite the bullet and get a, a new one. But I don't feel that way anymore. I am very happy with this. Yes, it's used, it's warm, but I think it looks great. Very highly recommend Leather Surgeons. I am very pleased with the finished product that they gave me. And I am very, very pleased with their customer service as well. That is not to say that I don't recommend the other companies. I can't recommend them. I have no experience with them. I think based off of their photos and their websites and their social media, they all look like they do really quality work. But my only experience has been with leather surgeons and I can definitely recommend them based off of my experience. And I would definitely use them again if I had another repair to do in the future. So I hope this has been helpful for some of you. If you have any questions, please do feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And I would also really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to this channel. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thanks so much. Bye.